Interested in pagan-friendly and metaphysical websites? Let's take a look around the web. Have you ever seen this Celtic Tree of Life image being used in artwork, jewelry, and prints? It has become a popular and universal symbol created by an even more popular and universal artist, Jen DeLife. A Welsh-born artist and author, Jen is a contemporary Celtic art illustrator who is most famous for her original designs based on Celtic mythology and symbolism. On her website, CelticDesigns.com, you can find a plethora of her talent, including the images for her famous Tree of Life symbol being used in some very creative ways. Also included on the site are images of her book, Celtic Folk Soul, Art, Myth, and Symbol, which explores the essence of the living tradition of the Celtic folk soul. Jen's art can also be seen in the DVD Beyond the Ninth Wave, featuring Jen's Celtic shaman art and animation. If you would like to know more about Jen's art, you can go to www.CelticDesigns.com. Want a quick and easy way to network with thousands of pagans online? Then try Pagans of MySpace. Pagans of MySpace is a site created on MySpace in 2004 by Crystal Trimmer and is now being ran by Titania Dwell with the help of her friends Austera Moon and Rowan. It currently boasts over 15,000 friends. Meant to be an online community for all walks of the pagan faith, the page's main focus is on interactive blogs where articles are posted through blogs and then discussed by the community through comments. This site also posts the Goddess of the Day bulletin and sends out birthday wishes as well. The staff writes, this is a group for pagans to come together to share info, ask questions, and meet other pagans. This is a community page so that no one feels they are alone. If you would like to know more about Pagans of MySpace, visit their site at www.myspace.com forward slash Pagans of MySpace.
Beltane, as you may know, includes the ritual of the Maypole Dance, the core symbolism of which might be viewed as inappropriate for younger audiences. Therefore, to explain this concept in a child-friendly way, we have employed a duck. The Maypole is all about the f I am going to Make motions like and then and a little bit okay. and to help me out, I'll be using these visual stimuluses of this banana ding and this donut ding. So, anyways, when we no, 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 no. Okay, I'll tell you what. Let's do this. Maypoles used to be a common sight at schoolyards and town squares during the late spring all across the United States. In many cases, people stopped joining their neighbors around the Maypole due to the Cold War and government propaganda. Even before this hiatus, many people didn't know the true meaning of the dance. The Maypole itself represents the masculine, and the flowered wreath and ribbons represent the feminine. The wreath placed atop the Maypole and the ribbons woven together in dance represents procreation and fertility. This means not just new babies, but new ideas, new situations, and new luck. So this May Day, join with your friends and family, young and old, and dance the Maypole to bring new beginnings into your life. Next, you need to get action. Sorry. Sorry. <laughs> Action. Wait, 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 what? <laughs> now I only charge $10 an hour. Stop wiggling. Drew, stop wiggling. <laughs> I'm not an adult. I need your help. <laughs> Yeah, wait, is this the test run? Action. Man, we have got stuff before you said action. That's because I dig, dig, dig it, and I do what I like. Can you keep your head down a little bit? Yeah, it's okay. Action. Twenty-ten. Oh, it's too bad. Okay, cry like a little baby. <laughs>